This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 20 verses 19 to 23. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Later on that day, the disciples had gathered together, but fearful of the Jews, had locked all the doors in the house. Jesus entered, stood among them and said, "Peace to you." Then he showed them his hands inside. The disciples, seeing the master with their own eyes, were exuberant. Jesus repeated his greeting, "Peace to you." Just as the Father sent me, I send you. Then he took a deep breath and breathed into them. "Receive the Holy Spirit," he said. "If you forgive someone's sins, they're gone for good. If you don't forgive sins, what are you going to do with them?" Reflections on the Gospel according to St. John chapter 14 verses 15 to 16 and 23 to 26. The solemnity of the Pentecost aims to make us aware of our inheritance from Jesus. Inheritance refers to physical, mental or spiritual characteristics received as a gift, usually given to the children when the parents die. So we must understand well what Jesus has left us. He has come into the world precisely to show us the true face of God, a God of love, mercy and compassion. People in the past had imagined a fearful face of God, but Jesus of Nazareth reveals a God who loves unconditionally, loves even his enemies. Jesus offers his disciples the means to become beautiful people like him by receiving his inheritance his life and spirit. Today we celebrate the fulfillment of the promise Jesus had made during the last supper. On Calvary when Jesus breathed his last. The evangelist would say he gave up his spirit. The moment when Jesus left this world, he gave to the world his spirit, his inheritance with his last breath. Pentecost was originally not a Christian feast. It was a Jewish feast of celebrating God's gift of the Torah, the law of God to the people. Israel was very proud to have received this gift from God. The Torah taught them what behaviors are destructive and should be avoided. However, it only showed the signs to follow, but it did not provide the strength to walk and reach the goal. The Holy Spirit is the new gift of God to those who love him, suggesting at all times how the son or daughter of God should behave. Luke uses specific images to explain what happens in the world and in the Christian community when the Spirit comes. The images used by Luke to present the coming of the Holy Spirit are earthquake or upheaval and tongues of fire. The event of the Pentecost happens in the upper room, the house of the community of believers, the church. Earthquake represents the irresistible force of the Holy Spirit. When the Spirit comes, it turns everything upside down. Jesus did not bring hell fire in the, into this world. The only fire God knows is the fire of his unconditional and totally free love. This fire is God's DNA, his spirit, the fire that creates the new world. And the image of the tongues stands for language. The world was using an old language of threats insults and intimidations of those powers to impose their prestige and pressure on those who are weak but when the spirit comes a new language reigns the world whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him the advocate the holy spirit that the father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all that i told you The Holy Spirit enables us to speak a new language of brotherhood and love, the only language that God speaks. <laughs>